How are you putting viewers? If you have if you are sitting for 2025 Wahek Biology Practical this year, or you have anybody that is uh, sitting for it, please I have a good message for you. And uh, the message is that I have some uh, questions and answers which has more than 70% 70% probability of coming out because the specimen book has come out the instruction to teachers and it is from the instruction to teachers that we always get the likely questions so I have some uh, questions and answers for you all you have to do is just to study it properly make sure you go through it and you study it properly and uh, there won't be any problem so after this now I would like to shift and show you the questions and answers that will really help you to have a very good uh, opportunity of having a or let's say 80 or 90 percent of this course in practical biology for WAHEC 2025. Thank you. All right, let's look at this uh, question and answer. These are the specimen given to students that will be writing 2025 WAHEC biology practical. So let's look at specimen A. We have uh, been with you. specimen B. We have been seed, and they said well, it must be with O's. So specimen C, water leaf plant, that's in whole. Specimen D, quail feather of a domestic fowl. Okay, quail feather of a domestic fowl. Specimen E, pineapple fruit, that is the longitudinal section of that. Specimen F, orange fruit, that's the transverse section. Specimen G, raw egg of a domestic fowl with shell intact. All right. Specimen H, Test tube containing 3 mil of water. Specimen J, longitudinal section of boiled egg with shell, right? So let's look at them after the other. Now, sample questions and answers from all the specimens. Number one, you might be asked to identify specimen A without reason. Now, that one is straightforward. Specimen A is being weaved. Question number two, state the phylum and class of specimen A. It is a phylum Anthropoda and class Insecta. Number three, measure three adaptive features of specimen A to its mode of life. The first one, they have long rostrum for feeding. They have small body size for penetrating seeds. And they have uh, membranous wings for flying. Okay. Question number four, measure for economic importance of specimen A. One, it destroys stored farm produce. It causes losses to farmers. It reduces viability and quality of harvested grains. It serves as food for certain organisms in the ecosystem. So number five, identify specimen B. So specimen B is uh, bean seeds, okay, with all. So specimen C, specimen B again. They say we should classify specimen B according to its lifestyle. It's, a, it's, annual. it's annual. Number seven, state three ways by which condition of specimen B could have been prevented. Storage in here tight containers, that's how to preserve it. Use of fumigant or pesticides. Number three, irradiation of what? Of seed. Okay, let's go to question number eight. Let's go to question number eight. Okay, what is the class of food that is obtained from specimen B? That's protein. If I'm too fast, please, you can pause, rewind, or do anything to this video, please. Identify, I make sure you take pen and jot down. Identify specimen C with three reasons. That is, water, leaf, plant. Okay, that's O. What are the reasons? We have broad or speculate leaf. We have succulent stem and solitary flower. Number 10. State the division and class of specimen C. Are they angiospermatophyta? Okay, the class is dicotinedon. Mention for that's number 11. Mention for observable features of biological importance in specimen C. Roman figure one, green leaves for photosynthesis. Roman figure two, succulent shoot system for, conserve, for conserving water. Roman figure three, brightly colored flower for pollination. And Roman figure four, tap root system for absorbing nutrients from the soil. All right. So now, number 12, identify specimen D with four reasons. Okay, quail feather of a domestic fowl. That's the identification. Okay, what are the reasons? Stiff central shaft. Roman figure 2, interlocking barbs with hooks. 
Man, we got three broad and flat vein. Man, we got four hollow and light quail. So number 13. State phylum and class of the organism from which specimen D is obtained. What are the phylum? Chordata and anvis. That's the class. Give three structural features of specimen D that are of biological importance. Roman figure one, hollow shaft for buoyancy. Number two, color for camouflage or courtship display. Roman figure three, interlocking bubbles for insulation. Number 15, make a well-labeled drawing 8 to 10 centimeter long of specimen D. Look at the drawings. They have a lot of labeling there which you have to study. You can pause this video if you have to study it. Number 16, measure five functions of specimen D to the organism which possesses it. You can see the functions. Flying, insulation, camouflage, courtship display, and protection. Number 17, identify specimen E and F. Specimen E is pineapple fruit. Specimen F is orange fruit. So let's go to number 18 now. Measure the types of fruit in specimen E and F. Specimen E is what? Sorosis. That's false fruit. Specimen F is what? Esperidium. That's true fruit. Number 19. Mention the mode of reproduction of specimen E. Asexual, vegetative, or soccer. Any of them. 20. Classify specimen F according to its life cycle. That's perennial. 21. What type of placent uh, placentation is found in specimen F? That's azide placentation. Number 22. Mention three economic importance of specimen F. Roman figure 1. Source of, source of antioxidant and vitamin. Roman figure 2. Raw materials for what? For industry. Roman figure 3. Source of foreign energy through its exportation. Number 23, make a labor diagram 6 to 7 cm long of specimen F. So you can look at this properly and try to make sure that uh, you are able to label the epicarp, epi mesocarp, and so on like that. Number 24, state for observable differences between specimen E and F. Now, I won't like to waste your time. I will be screwing up gently. You can pause this video if you did not get it. I will be screwing up gently. You can see. And this is the end, by God's grace. This is the end. Check it very well. Study it and make sure you understand. I will also, in this uh, channel, you will have chemistry, physics, and probably mathematics. So for chemistry practical, I will bring out the likely questions. For physics practical, I will also bring out the likely questions. So try to subscribe, like this video, and try to share with friends. Subscribe and so that and press the notification bell so that when I release things like this, Another video, you'll be notified. Thank you and God bless.